News exclusive report. Just before Kendrick Norton walked out of a hospital late this afternoon, CBS 4 News spoke with his mother, who for the first time is reflecting on her son's long road to recovery. The Miami Dolphins football player walked out of Jackson Memorial Hospital after 3 o'clock this afternoon. Yeah, this follows an intense two weeks of surgeries and rehabilitation. CBS 4's Peter Dench was there for his release and has more on what Norton and his mom had to say live from Miami. Peter. Kendrick Norton was particularly upbeat as he left Jackson Memorial Hospital. And speaking for the first time in an exclusive interview with CBS 4, his mother told me his future is bright. He's been here since July 4th. Kendrick Norton has a message as he walks out of Jackson Memorial Hospital, where he had had six surgeries in two weeks after losing his left arm in a horrible car accident. Yeah, I just want to give a, um, a, you know, a big thank you to, um, first of all, to God for, you know, for me still being here. Second of all, the Jackson Medical Center, they did a great job. They took a, a great care of me while I was in here. And then um, next, I want to thank the uh, Miami Dolphins family. They, um, they've been, you know, it's been crazy how much help they've been willing to give, that, you know, that they really didn't have to. You know, the head coach has been here almost every day. Norton echoed what he told me a week ago while inside the hospital. You know, everyone's been showing so much support and so much love, and uh, I really appreciate it. I just wanted to uh, thank everyone and let everyone know how much I really appreciate it. They're, they've been a big part of me being able to even be out this early. He's always ha had a good outcome about things in life, and so... He was a very easy child to raise. By FaceTime, his mother, Tess Stevens, says she is proud of her son for being brave. And I kind of figured that um, he, he actually surprised me because I thought he would, you know, be somber for a little longer. But a day or so, he was like, okay, well, let's pick up and move on. And that's kind of how he's been ever since a small kid. We saw that when we first interviewed him a week after, FHP says. His pickup truck sideswiped a Maserati on the highway before hitting a concrete barrier and rolling over. I'm, I'm alive, so that, that's one one of the big things that's keeping me going. You know, I, I still am able to, um, you know, I'm, I'm still able to be here and you know see my family, you know, see see my mom, my grandparents. You know, I'm, I'm still able to be here. Norton was a standout player for the Miami Hurricanes, was drafted last year by the Carolina Panthers, and then signed by the Miami Dolphins. Coach Bryan told him, when you lose one game, you um, take the pieces from that one and you figure out, take the pieces from that one that you need to win the next game and keep moving. And that's, you know, that's been his attitude. Now the NFL is paying for Norton's medical expenses through insurance from the league and the Miami Dolphins. Norton's mother is from Jacksonville. She told me she has not spoken before because she wanted to focus on his recovery and that has been her mission. We're live at Jackson Memorial Hospital. Peter Danch, CBS 4 News. He seems to be in amazing spirits. Peter, thank you for that live report.